Hi everyone, I'm here with this week's happiness strategy. And this week the theme is all around letting go and releasing control. It's about looking at the three main reasons why it's a good idea to ease up and release control in order to create the space for things in our lives to naturally unfold. Now I am definitely somebody who prefers order over chaos. I like the space around me to feel organized and my schedule to feel organized and I like feeling, I'm most comfortable when I feel like I have an overall handle on my life. And this has definitely served me well. It's helped me to achieve a lot of my goals and my dreams. But what I've come to learn and notice over time is that there is definitely a fine line between having a handle on our lives and being open and willing to release the grip on our lives. Because if we have too much striving and doing, we <laughs> sabotage our happiness. We sabotage the joy in the journey of reaching our dreams and our goals. So this week I wanted to share three main reasons why it's a good idea to ease up and release control, to let go. And I hope that these reasons serve as reminders um, for you in your life when you need them to ease up and to just let go and to enjoy your journey and just allow, you know, take that leap of faith and allow the magic of your life to unfold. So the first main reason or reminder is that too much effort actually creates resistance. So, you know, it does serve us well to show up and put in our best effort, whether that's um, in our daily jobs or when we're you know, trying to create something big in our lives or in our careers, um, you know, showing up, being willing to show up consistently and putting up in our best effort is definitely important. Um, but we also need to pair that with allowing the grace period to unfold. Um, because if we continually put pressure and force we begin to self-sabotage not only the process because if we're stressing out and constantly applying pressure and, and doing and trying and wanting something so bad, we're not actually enjoying the journey. And what we can also do is not allow the grace period to unfold. So just remember that it you know you can show up and put in your best effort and then to kind of switch gears and go do something fun to enjoy the journey and enjoy the adventure of really achieving your goals because our goals create like an anchor so we have where we are presently and then we create this future goal for ourselves and so there's the space in between and that space in between is our journey and it's our experience of life and while yes of course we have to put in that work and that effort um, but just to remind ourselves to find some joy in that journey and if we aren't having fun that's a good indicator that we need to ease up a little and to also remind ourselves that there is you know a bit of a period before things come into fruition so to you know shelf you know put in our best effort and then shelf it and go do something else that's fun and you know nine times out of ten like when I do this in my life I'm always amazed at the results that happen as opposed to continually straining and stressing and pushing against that river it isn't an enjoyable journey and sometimes when we actually reach that goal we don't appreciate it um, as much and we can you know, move on to the next thing without really getting that joy in the experience or the journey. So just remember that too much of a good thing or too much effort can actually create resistance and self-sabotage the experience that we're really after, which is to enjoy our lives. Um, okay, and then reason number two is that a reminder, and it's definitely cliche, is that you know, your vibe attracts your tribe. So, you know, that energy that we put out into the world is definitely important and it does come back to us. So if we're feeling really overwhelmed and stressed out, generally we're gonna be creating that energy, you know, in our minds and in our actions and how we're showing up. And we end up drawing in more of those experiences <laughs> and the people too that 
create more of that feeling of being overwhelmed. So if you're feeling like something is really hard and you're not reaching that goal, um, again, I believe it's a reminder to just let go and allow things to naturally unfold. And, you know, you can use that indication of, you know, even in your body, if you're not feeling great or if you're feeling stressed out or you're feeling really overwhelmed, like that's the sign to just ease up and to just let go and to show up in a different way. And, you know, it does create a different energy about us and we can draw in, you know, a different experience. And, you know, the saying is true that birds of a feather flock together and the best way to kind of find your flock or find your tribe or draw that in is to connect deeper to your own inner knowing and to truly show up as who you are. And, you know, I do believe that who you are and who I am isn't a big ball of stress and striving and doing, right? So, you know, sure we can all get into those patterns, um, but when we do, it, you know, the practice is to just experiment with what it feels like to just kind of let go and just release that feeling that you have to push, you know, the river, that you have to keep doing and striving to, you know, just tap in, in inward and tap into your own inner knowing. And um, I think there's a lot more ease and space in that. And it definitely will help to create a different result um, in our lives. And it, 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 if anything, it definitely creates more ease and joy in the experience of our lives, of our day-to-day -day lives. And so the third reason is to remember and to remind ourselves that all goals are moving targets. So I think goals are wonderful and they're great. Like it's awesome to be able to set something, you know, to create that vision or to create that goal um, and then to set out and achieve it. But to remember that it's the kind of being in process of reaching our goals that is the best part. And I think it's so easy to forget that, that the adventure is in reaching that goal because once we do, it, that goal, you know, is over and, and something else is replaced with it. And that kind of carries on throughout our entire lives um, until the end of our lives. And so if we're constantly, um, you know, striving and doing and, and trying to micromanage and be in control of everything, we're really missing the point. <laughs> and so the point is to just really find um, some joy in that journey and to also you know, because things are going to turn up in life, to kind of move with the ebbs and flows. Um, because, you know, obstacles and things do turn up in our lives. And so just creating that awareness and that inner knowing um, is helpful in, in just accepting what is and also moving with what is. Um, you know, that will create more ease in our journey as well. Um, because, you know, those targets are always going to be moving um, until we're no longer here. So I think those are really important reminders. Reason number one, that too much effort creates resistance. So remember, <laughs> if you're feeling a lot of resistance, that that's, you know, a... Uh, um, definitely an indicator that you might want to ease up and just take that leap of faith um, and really just release control. Reason number two, your vibe attracts your tribe. So if you want to have a different experience um, and draw on different people, then tap into your truth and your own inner knowing. And that will go a long way. And then also reason number three, that our goals are moving targets. So set the goals because that creates, you know, the big vision that you're striving towards, but to, instead of having that striving mindset, to really just embark on your journey and your adventure. And um, just remember that releasing control is really an act of faith. And, um, you know, just allow the magic of your life to unfold and, and allow and give yourself that gift of really enjoying your journey. And, 
you know, while things definitely will turn up and, you know, that are out of our control always, um, and it doesn't mean we're always going to wear a brave face and always be, you know, positive and happy, um, but it definitely does set us up to um, create more presence and to take in our moments and to really seize them and to, you know, have the most enjoyable journey while we get to be here. So I hope that you have an amazing week and that um, maybe if I just invite you to try it on um, in as many w little ways as you can throughout the day or throughout your week, just to see what it feels like when you create that pause and just create the space to allow life to unfold naturally and, uh, and you know, allow Grace to do her job. Um, she won't disappoint. So I hope you have an amazing week and I look forward to connecting again soon. Thank you.